Today, we're going to talk about some shocking news about an NC that's shaking up the stock market and sending shockwaves through the short seller community. We'll talk about how NC is breaking short positions, the amazing win for the apes, and the ins and outs of making fake shares. We'll also look at a key tweet from Adam Aaron. Let's talk about the big news for those who might not know. AMC has successfully refinanced $1.6 billion of its debt. The new plan includes up to $850 million more, and the original repayment terms were set for 21 months. However, the maturity dates have been pushed back to 2029 and 2030, giving AMC several years to grow, strengthen, and build its business. This is great news in many ways. By extending the due date of the debt, an NC has more time to grow without having to worry about paying back the debt right away. This move lets an NC explore and grow its income streams without having to worry about short-term debt obligations. However, there is always a risk when starting a new venture. The possible IL rewards could greatly improve ANC's financial situation if these ventures work. If they do, ANC could be in a great position, which would increase its market value and stability. We've already talked about what refinancing MC's debt means, but it's important to go over it again now. The fact that creditors are willing to extend MC's debt maturity shows that they have faith in the company's future. This faith shows that creditors believe MC will be able to make money and stay solvent in the long term. If they didn't believe in MC's future, they wouldn't risk extending the debt with the possibility of getting nothing in return. This extension is a clear vote of confidence in NC's strength and potential. Another important thing to think about is that an NC adjusted its debt notes using theaters as collateral. This shows that the theaters are seen as valuable assets, even though some people say the NC has no value. The fact that theaters were used as security shows how valuable they are. It also shows what healthy and valuable assets an NC has, which will help it grow in the future. Now, let's look at how the market reacted. There has been a lot of market activity since the news of NC's debt restructuring came out. This shows why short sellers are nervous and why NC is closing short positions. When a company is about to release important news during trading hours, they tell their listing exchange, which can stop the stock until the news spreads. This helps the market process the information and reset algorithms to their T1 and T3 stop for ANC. T1 needs a stop because of upcoming news, and this pause gives the market time to digest important news. This halt is a huge win for the apes because it shows that the NC is solvent and strong, even in the eyes of its harshest critics. The fact that trading was temporarily stopped shows how important the news was. It was important enough to warrant a temporary halt. When we compare ANC's market activity to other stocks, we notice something interesting. For example, the price of another stock, Mira, skyrocketed by 627.736%, even though it had been volatile in the past. This difference makes us wonder why trading is being stopped for relatively small percentage increases while other stocks experience bigger changes without similar stops. The answer lies in the effect on synthetic short sellers. For these people, a 15-20% to rise in an NC stock price means huge losses possibly in the tens of billions of dollars. This is why the market stops trading so often during price increases to protect short sellers and reduce instability. Lenders' huge vote of confidence in NC at renegotiating $1.6 billion in debt until 2029 is a sign that they see a bright future for the company. The possibility of lowering debt by up to $450 million is even more proof of this. This accomplishment took a lot of skill, creativity, and determination from NC's leaders. CEO Adam Aaron's excitement and optimism are palpable, showing how good this news is for the company's future for investors. NC is now in a much better financial situation because of this event. Worries about the company's short-term financial health and possible bankruptcy are greatly reduced unless something unexpected like the pandemic happens. This is a great chance for ANC to do well. When NC's finances are stable, they don't have to worry about debt, which frees them up to focus on growth and new ideas. Let's also talk about what this news means for the market system. Miss and trends of trading, based on a tweet from Edward Bruck, after the news stop, ANC resumed trading an hour later. This resumption saw a significant green candle spike, 
followed by a red candle, which shows how volatile the trading day was. The 5.39% increase may not seem like much, but it's important to understand the bigger picture. The halt and subsequent price action show how the market reacted to MC's strength and position, as well as the implications for short sellers. Additionally, a tweet from Boss Blunts highlighted that MC's restructuring could save nearly $500 million in interest and move us theaters to a new unit of the company. This move could destroy short seller positions. This news is good for both the company and its investors. Recently, there has been more bad news about AMC along with more institutional interest in the company. This suggests that some groups knew good things were coming and tried hard to drive down the stock price for fundamental investors. AMC's lower debt and longer maturity dates make it a clear investment possibility. The business can now raise more money and add more ways to make money, which makes it a good choice for people who are sure it will grow in the long term. Lastly, let's talk about making fake shares and the bigger picture of problems with market influence. A tweet from Biotech Moose shows how banks make fake shares of stocks like GameStop to meet their responsibilities. Hedge funds and short sellers can take advantage of this flaw in the market by trading these tokenized securities abroad. This practice shows how hard it is for small buyers to make money in a market skewed by fake stocks and unregistered exchanges. The recent reorganization of AMC's debt is a monumental event with far-reaching effects. It shows that lenders have faith in the company, which improves its finances and makes it harder for short sellers to make money. This news gives people peace of mind and shows how an MC can continue to grow and make money. That's all we have for you today, guys. What do you think about MC stock? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.